Hey Leo, it's La Mama, Little Mama. This is going to be messages for you guys for June 2022. I was about to say 2020. I don't know if something transpired for you guys back in the 2020, but that's your business. But anyway, y'all know the deal. Check your house placements. And if this is not your story, it may not be for you. <laughs> Cross watches, you know you're welcome to. Okay, so let's see. What's the messages for Leo? All right, Leo. Leo. I don't know if <laughs> you were on out like that last time that I did. But we got a weeping willow, okay? Family sorrow. My condolences if somebody had passed away. Mm. But somebody's needs to sorry about something. But we got a chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. So I don't know if there was some kind of a loss. And um, I don't know if something was like a ripple effect of what's going on. Either you're breaking the chain. But whatever it is, something's going to affect your life. Okay? Take whatever applies. Then we got an owl. Good advice from a wise person. Could have somebody in your life that could be influential to you, probably provide guidance with you, or is it you providing it for that person? <laughs> and then we got a fan. Okay. Romance celebration party. Okay, you party in the month of June? If you are, that's your business. Then we got a tent. Temporary situation. So there could be some setbacks. I don't know if you are um, currently in the process of downsizing. You got to check that other signs. I said somebody was probably downsizing of where they're moving to. And uh, something about, could be restructuring. But uh, there's going to be something in terms of a pattern of events, okay? Because we got making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Mm -hmm. Codependency. I don't know if there's somebody in your energy, whether you're enabling a situation or it could be the cross watcher. Take whatever applies. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn. I'm hearing a, a water sign, but I don't know. Somebody probably wants to make some kind of effort with you, okay? Because whatever you're wishing on and whatever you're manifesting, it's like you're setting plans in motion. I don't know if you're a starseed, but with the death, right? As I said before, if somebody had passed away, my condolences. But it's like, are you going through this transformation? Something has to change. And it's like the way that you're transmitting this energy, it's like you're trying to get some kind of balance in your life. I don't know if you're given, that person's given. Something about light energy and dark energy, but how are you balancing it? I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius, but something about some changes, okay? And maybe somebody wants to make the effort. But Leo, you acting like you don't want that offer. I don't know if there's some kind of missed opportunity. I don't know if you are still feeling someone because it's like you're still thinking about somebody but however it's like you're using your intuition these cups are full but you looking down masculine feminine energy you're like mm, i don't know if you want to take that offer with that person is it a water sign i don't know because is it somebody from the past <laughs> somebody's definitely thinking about you somebody has feelings for you towards the past i don't know if it's a water sign because we had a lot of water energy here Mm, something you're thinking about, right? But it's like, Leo, no matter what, right? You know you're always going to be looking good, smelling good. You really don't depend on nobody. And it's like the way that you are standing there poised with grace. It's like, I don't know if you wanted to commit with, with somebody because we have three pentacles over here. And then behind you was like with the six of pentacles, it's like, hmm. It's like you want to give, but it's like you want this reciprocity if that makes sense you give they give right but i don't know if you're receiving some kind of payouts i don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign but it's like you are really thinking about something you're like hmm i don't know it's like at one point you were feeling this person but you're like mm. huh. i'm hearing love don't live here no more I right, leo but now you're sitting there looking at things in a different perspective i don't know if you're dealing with a pisces but it's like there's a stance though you're going to be enlightened about something, okay? But it's like, you're looking at your pros and cons, and it's like, hmm, maybe you're like, you want to have some things that you want to change. I mean, you're definitely uh, self-sufficient, and this is like the minor empress in a duck, and it's like, are you just seeking your ton of pe pentacles, higher levels of commitment? But it's like, you don't want these, uh, <laughs> keep on having these missed opportunities, and I don't know if you're in the, it, you know, I don't know if you are, enabling a situation that's what i keep hearing is it an earth sign i don't know but these two wanted to come out 
It's like, you're at this point where you're like, should you leave or should you stay? And it's like, you definitely want to move forward. You're going to seek your victory. But it's like, what is this action that you're going to take? I don't know if you're dealing with a cancer. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign. But it's like, this opportunity is yours and the world is definitely yours. And it's like, you got a bird's eye view about something. But how are you going to be moving? Are you like, listen, June is going to change for you. Are you going to change the game? And it's like, you want to do something different this time around? I don't know. But there's some kind of opportunity that will be presented for you. Shit. Fire energy like your ass. <laughs> I'll just say, Leo. Okay. You're like, the mama, calm down. I am calm. I'm just saying. <laughs> but do you not see this one? Shit. <laughs> Shit. So, it's like a passionate new beginning. Do you want to start over? I don't know. Some kind of fire and desire. Uh, Leo, I'm just saying. Somebody got some passion towards your ass. I'm just saying. It could be this King of Cups. Water energy. But however, it's like this water sign wants to offer something to you, right? And look how this water sign is looking at you. Yes, I know you're fixed fire, but it's like you're still showing up as the minor empress. And it's like, yeah, they may not wear their emotions on their sleeve, right? But somebody got this big ass cup and they want to offer <laughs> A new opportunity with you one cup mind you right so is it a new love hmm maybe like you know somebody staring at you leo <laughs> a masculine or feminine energy <laughs> and it's like hmm but do you not see these three cups here i don't know maybe somebody wants to celebrate with you in the month of uh <laughs> april <laughs> are you okay did something happen in april you know when we say things but i mean the month of june all right cut your shit leo <laughs> now you got two kings but this is at the bottom of the deck so it's like mm, a new opportunity with love, a new new. And it's like, yeah, not only that, you're grounded and you're stable. And a King of Pentacles, it could be a family man. Or is this individual showing up not only with their emotions and intuition, and it's like they want to offer this to you. But however, do you not see this big ass pentacle? Or is this you thinking about your money? Mm, there is an offer. Is it earth? Is it water? I don't know. I mean, you got, you know, all players on the board, but shit, this one to fall down. You're like, ah, I don't know. Somebody's stressed out. Somebody got anxiety. Somebody can't sleep. But it's like, I don't know if there's somebody in your energy where there's a lot of codependency here, right? But you see this light here. It's like, it's not a coincidence. You're getting these epiphanies, right? But if it so happens to be that earth sign or this water sign that's on the board, Somebody's stressed out. They don't know if you're going to take that offer. And the way that they want to clearly communicate something with you, it's like your ass is straddling the fence. What you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do, Leo? That's what they had said. I don't know what you going to do. I don't know, Leo. Are you telling them they can get with this or they can get with that? I don't know, Leo. Mm -hmm. But this is somebody from the past. <sighs> yeah silence but there's gonna be a chain of events that will affect your life and what is this advice i mean i don't know if you're going to someone saying who should you choose you probably got two people and you're like all right i'm feeling this one and you know maybe they're stable just like you and maybe they use their intuition like you too and it's like maybe this person's single and they're like listen what's up but with this four of cups right <laughs> it's like you just want this change right and 35 is breaking down to an eight so it's like you're going through a transformation you could be seeing a lot of butterflies, but it's like you sitting there saying you want to go on the right path, which you are. You're following your life path and your purpose, right? And it's like you're saying to yourself, I'm tired of somebody, you know, being in your life it could be external energies where somebody could be addicted towards you. And it's like every time somebody wants to make this effort as far as, you know, providing this guidance and you're like, mm, I don't know if I even want it. Right. But Leo, this pathway, right? of you moving forward, right? I don't know if it's somebody that's in fear that wants to move forward towards you. Is it this King of Cups? Is this King of Cups or a water sign? I take whatever a sign, but the point is, side, side, sign, somebody could be stuttering. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to stutter to move forward towards you. And they're like, Leo don't even want that cup. And it's something about this fear, but you're like, listen, mm -mm, pull through. Leo ain't got no problem letting somebody know how they feel. All right, Leo. Shoot, because with this two of wands and this, this cherry here, right? It's like, yeah. Not only are you working hard, right? It's like you're building. And the way that you want to move forward is like you want somebody to put the work in with you just like you would with them. 
Because remember, with this Knight of Pentacles, as I said before, the Six of Pentacles is behind you. But it's like you want to give <laughs> just like they can give to you. But there could be some kind of payouts. But the point is, it's like, are you just like, fuck it. I've worked so long and hard and it's to a point where it's like you want to move forward. In a way, this is kind of like an ace here. It's like you want a new beginning, right? But what are you waiting for? What is this decision and this choice that you're going to make? There's a decision you're going to make. Are you going to leave or are you going to stay? <laughs> Leo. But Leo, again, I don't know if work is so much for you. I don't know if you're a workaholic. Maybe you're just so focused on work and you're like, yo, not to say fuck love, so to say, but it's like maybe this is something that you're just so comfortable about and doing where there has to be a change, right? Because remember, there's a change of events that will affect your life, right? And it's like somebody definitely wants to celebrate with you. Sure, what you going to do? And whatever this advice that a wise person is giving you, are you going to take it? <laughs> Strongly suggesting the alpha, right? But somebody wants to make that offer towards you. <laughs> but are you going to take it? Because with this line of pentacles, right? <laughs> you looking good, smelling good. These two want to come out. Yeah, you privileged lady, right? And this is like a divine family. This is like an empress energy. But the thing is, it's like you don't want to feel left out, right? And it's like, Leo, you don't have a problem making money. But it's like you don't want this poverty here too. Is this why this tennis here? There's a temporary situation. It could be a setback, right? Like I said, I don't know if you are downsizing because 37 is broken down to a 10. And 10's an ending. So it's like you want to change a, change a transition. And it's like maybe now you work so hard with what you got, right? And it's like, now you're probably cutting back. We're working so much. And you're like, listen, the summertime is coming up. It's going to be the month of June. And it's like, you want to have these changes. You want to go out, right? You don't want to feel left out, right? Or is this person feeling left out in the cold that wants to offer something to you? And maybe somebody didn't like that end because 37 is broken down to a time, which is an ending, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody else had that. I don't know if you're dealing with that sign, but there's a new man alert. <laughs> what you going to do? It could be a new love for a female or a male. I'll take whatever applies. But it's like, hmm, is it your ass looking at this new man or is this new man looking at you? I could take it either way, right? But somebody don't want to feel left out. Hmm. What you going to do? You're poised. You know exactly what you want, right? But with this king of cups, right, <laughs> that wants to offer something to you. Remember that king of pentacles came out. I told you, Leo, cut your shit. I don't know if it's in a suit of earth. I don't know if it's in a suit of water. But with the lovers, you got to make a choice. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini. But somebody want to get with you. I mean, even the birds. Is, do you not see everybody talking? Somebody is occupied. <laughs> Maybe this one wants to offer something to you, right? But picking it up before I shuffle, I don't know if you're saying you're very busy. Shit. Are you too busy working and maybe somebody wants you to break the chain, right? Chain of events that will affect your life, right? And it's like, is there a standstill? <laughs> Recording some, Leo? Leo, cut your shit. Because I'm saying, Leo, <laughs> maybe this water sign wants to support you, okay? Either the water sign or the earth sign. Even though the earth sign was at the bottom of the deck. He didn't come out, okay? But maybe you have somebody in your life that you have a deep connection with. And this person wants to support you just like you support them. Like I said, just like the Six of Pentacles behind here. Even though it's the Nine of Pentacles. Shit. This this, this uh, water sign is uh, single too. And they can make money just like you make money too, Leo. What you going to do? Somebody wants to support you. Look at this little warm brace. Mm. I don't know what you going to do. I don't know if you're going to readers. I don't know if you're seeking some kind of information. And that's at the bottom of that, right? But somebody being stressed out <laughs> and stuttering and don't know what they want to say to you because of the fact that I don't know if you're blocking that person out. Shit, it could be this mature man. Mm -hmm. What you going to do? Now, this mature man got a world, got a globe by him, right? Mm -hmm. This one got a globe by him too. Is it this a mature man? Maybe this one's stressed out. I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the fact that either you're working so much that maybe you're stressed out or is it this mature man is going through a change <laughs> or is it you going through a change? Masculine, feminine energy, chain of events that will affect your life. Mm -hmm. Somebody's stressed out about something and it's like this person wants to offer something to you. But what is this change that you're going through? Are you stressed? I don't know. Shit. It's wanting to come out. I don't know if it's a domestic relationship. You got to take whatever applies. And what I'm hearing is if there was somebody in your life where 
there was some codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. You had to release something to let something go, right? And it's like, because of the fact that you being wise, giving advice, I don't know if it's a friend, I don't know if it's a family member. But the point is, somebody that either you're going to or somebody is going to you that might need your help. Somebody stressed out. I know they're really what left with that, but something had to come out for a reason. But you got to take whatever applies. But there is some kind of offer that somebody definitely wants to present to you. I don't know if you're going to take it, Leah. But the point is, looking at this, you got double six of cups here. You got a deep connection with somebody. Also with the lovers. What are you going to do? I don't know if you listen to music. But the only one on this board is this King of Cups. Wants to offer something to you. He or she doesn't matter. What are you going to do? You going to take it? Hmm. Only you know. I'll give you some charms. A lot of y'all getting a ladybug. You got to look by your side. You're very wise, okay? You got a double owl here. What you going to do, okay? I don't know if you're seeing owls. I don't know if owls are flying by you. But there's going to be a strong message that will be delivered to you. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, right? But that's, that's like emperor energy, you being a boss, right? And it's like whatever you're wishing on. Remember that um, the star was showing up. Whatever you were manifesting, you're very vivid with your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. I don't know if you have a dream catcher. You probably have an animal. You have a cat here. We have a palm tree here. I don't know if you live in Florida. I don't know if you live in LA. But something is no longer cloudy judging because with this this cloud, this cloud's happy. So it's like with the sweep of love, family sorrow, something's definitely going to turn around. Okay. And it's like with this blue clover, it's like how are you speaking with your throat chakra? There's definitely luck by your side. Mm -hmm. You could be seeing a lot of butterflies. You have a key of an opportunity. It's a key with a heart. Somebody wants to offer something to you. I don't know if this water sign. It could be any sign. Take whatever applies, right? But like I said, with this star, the way that you are wishing on something, something is coming into fruition for you, how you're setting your attentions. Double star. I don't know if you're a star seed, but pay attention to these moon cycles, okay? Your intuition is not steering you wrong. And it's like with this swan, the way that this swan is looking with this, the moon and the double stars here, it's like whatever you are thinking about, it could be a soulmate. But something is definitely going to transition for you. But it's only up to you. 